Assalamu alaikum green. Sorry I'm late. Wa alaikum assalam. Traffic was absolutely horrendous. How are you? How's family? The kids? Alhamdulillah. One more coffee please. English tea for me please. So how was the drive down to London? I prepared myself to make sure that I got here on time. Looks like you've lost a bit of weight, you've been training. Okay, Hamza, let's cut the small talk. I've been to Malawi, the Philippines, leaving my home, my family, my wife, my kids. And I've left you in charge. And I want to know what you've been doing while I've been away, apart from prancing around in the kitchen. I think you're going to like what I have. So it's our guys. New Muslims? New Muslims. To be frank, and you know this very well, it's been the elephant in the room. You know every time new Muslims come to the religion, after a few weeks, months, without support, they leave. That's why we're addressing this problem. We've been traveling up and down the UK, empowering individuals and organizations and the new Muslims to be grounded in their faith, to be beacons of light for the community. It's not much new for us though, Hamza, is it? Okay, what else have you got? Do you know where people lose faith the most? universities. To be on your screen, I've lost count. We've been going up and down the UK, empowering and supporting students and giving them confidence to be able to share Islam with their fellow students. There's no doubt universities are important, but how about Dawah to non-Muslims? What's this? People still don't know that Jesus is a prophet of Islam. We've been delivering exhibitions up and down the country and training organizations to deliver this exhibition. For example, at one mosque, there were around 2,000 visitors engaging with our exhibition. I don't recognize these people, who are they? Exactly. We're not doing this alone. We have formal agreements with teams, individuals, organizations, institutions, all over the UK. And those agreements allow us to train them, empower them, and for them to use our Dawah materials so they could share Islam with their communities. Yeah, I recognize that. It's HQ. And I guess you're going to be telling me that you've implemented new environmentally sound policies, including recycling, to prepare us for a sustainable future. For sure. But that's not the reason I'm showing you this. We have upgraded our classroom. We've delivered basic training, advanced training, specialist training to many imams and influentials from all over the UK and they've used this education, this empowerment, and they are now sharing Islam with their communities. Okay, Hamza, that sounds nice. But what does it all mean? 
Excuse me? I mean, are you being serious? What do you mean, what does it all mean? The impact has been absolutely phenomenal. We've empowered individuals and organizations and institutions so they can go back to the communities and to their neighbors and to their fellow students and colleagues to share Islam positively, to make an impact. This is what we're about. One more thing. Okay, put that away, enough of that. Let's have the bill, please. <laughs> That's a disgusting coffee. <laughs> Hamza, let's cut the crap. Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's this then? I don't know. I've been to the Philippines. Wait, 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 sorry guys. Wait, I need my coffee cup. I need my, I need my... I ran out of followers. <laughs> What's the thing that you've been what around in the kitchen? Prancing. Prancing. I have to. Prancing.